Chi-square goodness of fit test method 1 in Jamovi. Chi-square test is used when there is one categorical variable. This categorical variable can have two levels in it, uh, such as life dead or male or females, or it can have multiple levels in it, such as professions, doctor, dentist, scientist, and pharmacist. So in this case, the variable is called nominal variable. And also the chi-square can be used for single ordinal variable. The test will determine whether there is a significant difference between observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies. And the hypothesis will state whether there is equal proportion or not equal proportion. Here in Jamovi data view, I have a categorical variable that have 200 cases in it. There are four professions in this uh, categorical variable. So there are four levels, doctor, secretary, pharmacist, and nurses. To determine whether there is a significant difference between the observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies, then chi-square goodness of fit test will be performed. First of all, let's look at some descriptive data. To do that, click on exploration, click on descriptive, select profession, move it to variable, change the descriptive variable across rows, and tick on the frequency table, and for statistics, no changes here or no selections. So this table on the right hand side shows that there are 200 cases, and the frequencies for each level within the categorical um, variable is given in the second table as shown here. The doctors have 34 counts, secretary 54 and nurses 70. To do the chi-square for single variable, click on frequencies, scroll to in outcomes, chi-square goodness of fit test. In this new window, select the profession and move it to the variable. Tick on the expected count and click on the expected proportion. The table in the right hand side shows that the observed count for all the four levels and the expected counts for all the four levels. So the expected counts have an equal proportion or equal percentage or equal number, 50 for each level. And with this test where the expected count is of an equal probabilities, the chi-square result is shown in the table here. The value for the test is 14.7 degree of freedom equal to n minus 1. n is the levels of the categories, which is 4 minus 1 equal to 3. And the p-value is less than 0.05. So this test shows that there is a significant difference between observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies. We could also set the expected counts at certain proportion or percentage by changing the ratio here. Let's set that the doctor uh, expected counts for the doctor to, to present 10% i.e. portion is 0.1 
click enter for the secretary point two click enter for pharmacist point three click enter and for the nurses point four click enter as shown here in the right hand side the chi-square test has been rerun and the expected count has been set at the proportion or the ratio ratio inserted in this area here and for the doctor it is 20 cases for secretary 40 pharmacy 60 and nurses 80 and for the goodness of fit test the chi value chi square value is 21.4 and the p value is less than 0.05 so there is a significant difference between expected and observed frequencies. So this is the way to perform chi-square goodness of fit test in Jamovi.